What up, everybody? This is your boy, Black Magus, back with another car blog. Um, early at work, of course, again. Just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit um, about the whole Me Too movement and sexual harassment. Um, kind of been getting into long conversations about this. And um, the whole Aziz, uh, what's his name? Aziz Anin, I forget his last name. But the whole situation with him and the story about the girl named Babe and all of that kind of like got me into two um really long um thought out conversations about it um and i just wanted to just talk about it a bit with me i feel like part of me was probably a little harsh um but at the same time i feel like i wasn't harsh enough and what i mean is i'm of course on the side that that dude was wrong what he did he shouldn't have did now i know a lot of people say well she should have left she shouldn't have stayed she shouldn't have um, gratified him the first time around when he went down on her and then she proceeded to return the favor. That could have been a catalyst for him to continually push. At the same time, I will say this, as someone who's been in situations similar, there were cues that she gave, openly like blatant cues, in my opinion, that um, was telling him, yo, fall back, chill. Now, I know part of the argument is, well, he's not a mind reader. He can't, you know, read what she's thinking, blah, blah, blah. Truth of the matter is, as much as we like to say we're not mind readers, we kind of are. We know certain things. Experience and just gut feeling can tell you when something's not right. Um, and I felt like the cues that she gave were two examples of both. Um, you know, body language. We see body language. Let's not act like we're oblivious. That's the thing that I don't like is when people give answers like that. For me, it makes me feel like, okay, you're kind of being a dick because unless you're that, like, blind to the world or that inexperienced, I can't see how you can't see certain things. And, again, that's where I think part of me is being maybe too harsh because there are some people who just don't get it. That being said, um, the other argument I get is, well, she should have been more firm and more direct with her approach. You know, I was thinking about that because I've been thinking about that since I've had my couple of conversations. And while I partially agree to that, my thing is this, um, because a point was made that women need to learn how to teach each other to be more direct, more, um, you know, stern you know more harsh towards guys and the thing is haven't women been saying that stuff for a while part of me thinks that a lot of this stuff that keeps happening is because people have continually continually fought and then no one listened it's kind of like how i feel about the civil rights movement and things like that you know people continue to fight fight the players kneel all of that yet what happens we still have issues because the other side's not necessarily responding to that appropriately so for me i feel like we as fellas need to start responding a lot more more appropriate but that's all i'm going to say for right now um we'll get into this later as always feel free to hit me up let me know what you think and i'll hide you later it's your boy black makes and i'm out deuces